We are all thinking about that holiday cookie exchange right now. What are you gonna bring this year? Well, I know on my plate, I'm gonna have something chocolatey, something peanut buttery, definitely a sugar cookie with all those glitter sprinkles on top. But I wanted to bring something different to the table this year for all my friends to try. Something more local, something a little earthy, maybe a little spicy, a little smoky too. Yeah, so we're gonna do all that in a cookie today and we're gonna be using Colorado grown dry beans. We're using pinto beans, so many of them grown right here in Colorado. You just can't beat it. You know these are grown in Colorado because of the beautiful color. That little red hinge to these beans, that's what makes them what they are. So I simmered these beans in a pot of boiling water. I did not put salt in that water because today I'm baking with beans. And you guys know I love to do crazy things with beans. This is gonna be one of those crazy days where I put pinto beans in a ginger snap cookie. So we are making pinto bean ginger snaps for the holidays. They are gonna be such a great cookie. I promise you're gonna love them. All right, here we go. Pinto beans going into the food processor. We're doing the entire cookie in a food processor today. I don't want you standing there with a the wooden spoon, with the bowl, none of that business, guys. We don't have time, right? We are busy, we wanna get these cookies done, and we wanna eat them as quick as possible too. All right, spice cake mix. All of the great flavors I need for this cookie coming in from those pinto beans and the spice cake mix. When people ask me why I like baking with beans, there's a lot of different reasons. I love the fact that there's added protein and fiber to a baked good. You can't beat that, right? But then I also love the texture. Those beans when you bake, soft, smooth, it kind of adds like a sour cream-like texture to your baked good. It keeps them very chewy on the middle, but crisps up nicely on the end. Okay, some simple oil going in here, then an egg, fresh ground ginger. Mm, ginger powder is just the best. It's just wonderful. And then molasses. You cannot have a ginger snap, look at that, without that beautiful molasses. A lot of the color comes from that and from that ground ginger. Okay, we're gonna pulse this together. It's gonna turn into a beautiful dough. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to refrigerate that dough. You're gonna kinda create a tube, refrigerate it in plastic wrap for about a day. So just do it overnight. And then when you bring that out of the fridge, unwrap it, you're gonna have these beautiful slices of ginger snap. Uh, we're gonna put some sugar over them, kinda coat them. You can go with any type of sugar you like. I just like plain, simple white sugar. Pop these in the oven, beautiful, round, that gorgeous color coming in from the molasses. And just the texture of this cookie, as you see, is going to be such a wonderful addition to your cookie plate this year. People are gonna ask you what's in them, and you better tell them, hey, Colorado dry beans are in them. They were grown right down the street from us, and they add such a great um, texture and taste to these very cookies. For this recipe, go to coloradodrybeans.org and visit us on social media at Colorado Dry Beans.